All right, so there's two basic ways that you can handle human relations, and that's essentially you can be either manipulative with the other person or you can be honest and open and intimate. Um, so we're going to have, for simplicity's sake, two players uh, in this game we're going to discuss. We're going to have player one over here and player two over here. And like I discussed, we're going to have two options, which is manipulative and honest. Now the benefits derived to these players uh, will be represented using numbers, right? So player one, if he decides to be manipulative, obviously what's going to help him the most um, is if player two is honest, right? Because then that just gives player one more leverage against him. So player one would benefit in this interaction where player two is honest. We're going to write that as three. But player two would lose out in this interaction, so I'm going to write that as a negative one. Now, if player two knows that player one is going to be manipulative, player two has an incentive to choose uh, manipulate as well. Uh, and in that case, neither of them derive the benefits that they would derive if the opposing player was being honest. But it's better for them to choose ma manipulate rather than be honest in the face of manipulation. So they'll uh, both benefit slightly from the manipulations. Now, uh, this works the opposite way as well. Player two might be the manipulative one and player one might be the honest one, in which case the roles are simply reversed here, where uh, player two would derive the maximum benefit. Now, if they're both honest, we have a weird conundrum on our hands, um, where they'll both benefit, um, but not as much as if they were to, able to take away something from the other person because they had leverage against them. So we're going to write that as two, right? Now, um, <laughs> any rational calculator would see here, okay, if you're player two and you're looking at what player one's going to do, if you think player one's going to be manipulative, obviously you don't want to be honest because that would be terrible for you. You want to be manipulative as well, so that's what you would choose. Now, if you think player one's going to be honest, what are you going to choose? Uh, if you're honest as well, you're going to drive some benefits, sure, but you're not going to drive as much benefits as if you were as if you were manipulative with player one. So you're going to choose these two options, right, depending on what player one does. Now, if we reverse these roles again, we're going to see that player one, if he believes that you're going to be honest, player one is going to be manipulative because he drives maximum benefit that way. So that's what he's going to choose. Now, if he thinks you're going to be manipulative, well, then he's sure as heck not going to be honest because he gets a terrible result from that. He's going to be manipulative as well. Now you see a pattern here where this is the most common choice. Both players are manipulative. Now is this optimal? No. What would be optimal is this. But this is the Nash equilibrium where everybody chooses. And while most people I think would agree that being honest and open and intimate with people is better um, objectively and morally, that's not what the rational thing to do is, the rational thing to do is be manipulative, as shown here. Especially when you're faced um, with a manipulative person and you just, you know, don't have the incentive to be honest back. If you're faced with, an, a, mani with a manipulative person, it is a terrible, terrible idea. Um, say, you're, say you're player two again. If you think player one is going to be manipulative, you're going to get this result from being honest. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Why would you ever want to get negative one from this relationship? So if you can either be honest or manipulative, your best bet is to choose manipulative when faced with manipulative people. Um, this just shows that uh, it's completely, absolutely rational to manipulate, especially when faced with manipulative people. The only case where you would choose this option where everybody benefits equally um, and is obviously the optimal interaction here. Rather than 1-1, one, one, we get 2-2. Two, two. Um, so everybody's better off if we choose this, but it's, it's the irrational option. Um, the only way you get this is when both people trust each other. Uh, any other case, that would not happen. 
Now, like I said, um, if you're faced with honest people, if you think player one's going to be honest, you would derive the most benefit from being manipulative, right? You derive the most benefit from being manipulative. However, ethics is not about you deriving the most benefit. So I would generally recommend this if the other person is being honest, but don't feel bad if you choose this when the other person is being manipulative. Uh, just for the record, I'm not saying that uh, manipulation is always the rational course. Um, the, these are very short-term benefits. I would personally argue that if people were looking at the long term, which they often do not do, um, these benefits would change. And then we'd have a new equilibrium point.